Alright, hello everyone and welcome to Air Control. Now, I saw this game a long time ago on Desora and I thought it looked cool. From what I'd seen, there was some screenshots, there was a, a, a little video. You're on an airplane, you got a gun, that sounds like fun. You know, <laughs> you know it, it seemed like a, a weird game. And, you know, I'm always looking for new games to play, so I said, hey, I'm going to try this game out. I think it was like five bucks at the time, so I so I bought the game, and I fired it up, and holy shit. So I forgot about it. It was a terrible game, and now it is coming to Steam. Let me just read you what the Steam Greenlight page says. Air Control is the most realistic plane simulator out there. With this game, we give you more freedom and go further into the stages of how a flight is both prepared for and executed than any other flight simulator out there. We aren't just covering the cockpit, we're covering every single step of the process. Okay, cool. So, yeah, this game is coming to Steam. It was supposed to be released last week at some point, and I was like, okay, look, this game is coming today. So I waited. I wanted to see how much it was going to cost, and when the game was supposed to be released, what did it say? Coming soon. So the game didn't even make its release date. Now let me just read you what, the, what it now says in the About the Game section on the Steam page. Air Control, the world's first unserious flight simulator. This is an extremely ambitious project that will forever change the gaming industry and make flight simulators frivolous and ridiculous. Main site of action in the game happens in the interior of passenger aircraft. Real chaos is happening on board of airplanes is airlines is airplanes, zombies, dwarfs, crazy doctors, gore and organs, space rangers, flying seats, OMG. Gameplay wise, air control is a just for fun game, which will bring you many new emotions and experiences. What a pile of shit. So I went and I looked at the reviews for this game. Well, there's one review that is good and one is bad. The good review gives it 9 out of 10, and this guy, I don't know where he gets his uh, information. He was given this game to play, and uh, apparently he bought the Groupies bundle with this game in it, and they gave him a Steam key. So I said, hey, let me message the developers and see if I can get a Steam key for this. No, sorry, Matt. The Sora buyers don't get a Steam key for the game. So I said, well, that sucks. I guess I'll just have to show you guys the version that I have and not the version that's on Steam. So that's what you're gonna see, and I don't think that the game is gonna get any better than this. <laughs> it can't get any worse, so maybe it will get better. The only other thing I wanna say is, in the Steam discussion, this one person was complaining and saying that the game was shit, and they were banned, and the developers actually came on and said, oh no, no, this is a just for fun game. And I'm, I'm guessing that that's when they changed the actual store description to a just for fun game, because it wasn't a just for fun game, all right? So basically, let's go ahead and I'll show you what this game actually is about, and I want you to leave here with one thing, one thought. I will never buy this game on Steam, okay? First of all, look at this. This is Air Control. This is the title of the game. I didn't know shit was a font, but apparently it is, by Killjoy Games Team. Alright, you know, how about using some capital letters, what? <laughs> you can vote for it on Steam Greenlight, which actually got through and is going to, and is going to be on Steam because of screen, Steam Greenlight. Anyway, what happens if we click Chapter 2? Uh, looks like you can't ch click Chapter 2, you can click Exit. And you can click Chapter 1 and Credits. Why don't we go to Chapter 1 and see what we got here. Alright, let's just let's just give this game a second because it's, it's hard to load all these graphics, alright? Okay, so my mouse is hovering over the screen now. If I click, my mouse goes away. Alright, cool, you know. So, what, what, what is this? It's, uh, it's an airport. Okay, well, uh, let's just go around. Nope, we can't go over there. There's an invisible wall. There are some ugly-ass buildings over here. Some of them you can only see if you point in a certain direction. And, uh, then there's a plane. Well, uh, what can you do? Well, there's this vehicle. You can walk through this vehicle if you want. You can walk through the landing gear. You can walk through this, whatever the hell that is. It's a United Airlines something or another. And, you know, that's it. You can just walk through stuff. There's no clipping in the game. It's just, it, well, that's an invisible wall again, so we can't go over there. So let's go ahead and I'll show you what you can do in the plane, because, you know, that's where all the excitement happens in this game. It's a flight simulator, for God's sakes. So, okay, we'll go up, we'll go up here on this thing. We'll walk into the plane. Great, we're in the plane now. What do we do? 
absolutely nothing. That's what we'll do because you can't do anything. You can't do anything in this game right now. I watched a video online because I couldn't figure out what you could actually do after this. And apparently you actually have to like alt-tab out of the game and get back in. So excuse me while I do that so I can get a mouse, okay? Alright, so I tried to actually alt-tab out of the game. That wouldn't work because... I don't know. I tried to alt tab and I couldn't get back in. What I'm going to try and do is when you go into the chapter one here, your mouse is on the screen. So I'm going to try just not to take my mouse off the screen and try and get in there like that. Great, we got a mouse. So we can click on things now. So let's click on stuff. For no reason, one of the buttons will bring you into another mode. All right. I guess. I don't know what the game is. All right. Great. We're in another mode. Oh, look, the airplane's on fire. Why don't we just uh, click on it? We click on the engines and then they go green. Okay, cool. Are you going to tell me that that's what I'm supposed to do, or are you just going to let me do whatever the hell I want? It's red again, and it's green. It's red, and it's green. It's red, and it's green. What the hell? Alright, we're going to go back up here again. We're going to go back into here. Oh, great, more music. Good, okay. Fly through the green blocks. Control to accelerate, shift to decelerate. Up, down, left, right to change direction. And, uh... I don't even know the other things. Exit with Alt F4 or Escape. So yeah, you, you can't even exit the game like a normal game. You actually have to, like, quit the game with Alt F4. And you can restart the level with F2. Okay. So let's do it. Let's, uh... Let's... Fly our plane, I guess? So we gotta use Control to go forwards, Shift to stop. So, uh... Yeah, let's see how realistic this simulator is. Oh, man, look at that. Wow, now that's, uh, that's flying a plane right there, alright? Yeah, you can use WASD to fly the plane, and you can go right through the ground! Don't even, uh, don't even think that the, the ground is a limit in this game. There are no limits in this game, you can do whatever the hell you want. Don't you worry, you, if you buy this game, you can fly your plane around. What? wait, what? Where did everything go? Everything just disappeared. Apparently, if you, if you, if you fly too far away, everything disappears. Now I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Oh wait, there's a there's a black hole in the sky. Let's go to the black hole in the sky. Maybe that means something. Oh no, I think that might be the sun. Yeah, I think that's the sun. Distance to goal. Fifth, what? 12,500 feet to the goal? How did I get over here? Now everything is black. All right, F2 to restart, right? I think. Oh, F2 restarts the entire fucking game. Wow! Well, thank you so much, Killjoy Games, for that wonderful experience. Guys, that's that's all I want to show you. I don't even have a mouse anymore, so I can't even... I can't get out of this menu, okay? So, forget it. That's that's all you need to know. This game does not deserve to be on Steam. I don't know why it's on Steam. Technically, right now it's not, because apparently the game wasn't even good enough for them to release it when they were supposed to release the game. Oh, one more thing before I leave you. In, uh, in amazement. The negative review for this game that I read earlier has now been removed. I don't know if the developers removed it. They've been banning people for negative opinions on this game. So I'm guessing that the developers can somewhat, somehow remove them? I don't, I don't know. I don't know how that works. I, I didn't know that developers could just remove reviews on their game. But this review is gone, and I don't know why. Because it was a great review. It was telling you how shitty this game really is, okay? But anyway, that is Air Control, a.k.a. the biggest piece of garbage to ever end up on Steam. Have a nice day, everyone.